Depending on where you are in the world and what time it is, obviously. Hello, welcome to All About the Base. I'm Nathan. And I'm Lee. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Here we are, look, on Anderton's. Fresh new, brand new t shirt. Anderton's TV. Check this out, man. Look at me. Yeah. Loving it. Yeah, as you can see, I've been working out. <laughs> yeah, ah! yeah. Working out how to pay for this t shirt. <laughs> uh, yeah, these are now available online. So check out the Anderton's web site. And uh, yeah, there's uh, millions Absolutely. of designs, and they're all very, very cool. Yeah, I'm even cooler for, than this. I'm waiting for my uh, my my yellow, my blue turtle, blue turtle design. Oh yeah, favorite. dream mm. of the blue turtles. That was a I'm steam record, the dream of the dream turtles. <laughs> anyway, that's enough about uh, fashion. Oh, apparently, Love it. Oh, 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 sorry, I've just been told. Oh by yes, a, mugs. My erstwhile uh, video man. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you can buy these as well. The mugs aren't they fab? Love, Love them. them. Anyway. Love them. We got pics. Everything. It's all coming through. That's enough of that. That's enough of that. <laughs> so today, Lee, hey, hey, hey. Oh yeah. Here's a uh, here's a name I know very well actually. This Warwick. Is Warwick. Uh, we got our first shipment of Warwick stuff coming through. So we are um, dealing with them again. So we used to do them uh, a few years back, I believe. Yeah. Uh, before my time, but we uh, we were a stockist, okay. um, and now it's a part of our massive sort of overhaul in the base department. Yeah. Like, as we've seen over the last few videos, you guys would have seen as well. Lots of new brands coming through. Um, and this is one of them. So we've got the first few rock based edition of the Warwick range, which are their um, slightly more affordable end, um, uh, the Chinese built uh, bases. Uh, and we've got some of the German stuff arriving. So the proper say German team build uh, gear turning up in a few months. So okay. well, um, well, we'll be looking at those a bit further down the line. Absolutely. But today we've got uh, we've got lots of different bases some going on here. Gorgeous stuff. Yeah. So we, well, I thought I would sort of pick a few Few variations. So you've got the um, the five string streamer there with your uh, with your Nathan, um, and as we go through, so we've got the the four string Corvette here just behind, um, mm. which is lovely. They've got the fretless Corvette as well, just in the centre here. Mm. Yes, love it. 
This is the neck through streamer, so oh. slightly different body design. Uh, but this is the first neck through version we've got as well. So, nice. so with the curved body, with the curved body, yeah. Um, we'll get onto that. And I've got a double humbucker. Wow! Uh, so on the Corvettes as well. So uh, yeah, a kind of a Stingray sort of vibe in for the Warwick there. Yeah, it's um, it's a lovely, lovely sounding, lovely sounding bass. And I say they've got their own, their own tone. You know, you can you can really hear it come through. Real lovely rounded sound. Mm. Um, that is surprising. They really do um, translate well from the German uh, built, team built stuff down to the the Chinese Chinese made rock based stuff because it's. It still keeps that characteristic, I think. So uh, okay, and um, when you say more affordable range, uh, what, yeah. what's the sort of price range for these? Is it a big difference, or are they all kind of around a? Yeah, they, they are starting around five fifty um, right. for more than like the natural type. It's like a fretted version of this one here. So um, the natural satin finish, uh, we, we will have the fretted version coming through of this. Um, so like these ones here. Um, so these are around at 550, up to about 900 pounds for something like for the neck through. Just oh, for a okay. Li little bit more work that goes into to building something like this. Okay, that, um, gives, that gives you a rough idea of what sort of money you're going to spend on these. Yeah, it's all, all between, between five and a half, nine hundred pounds. Okay. And there's a few different options you can do with each. I've been um, so looking through the orders. Our first order, where you can kind of choose uh, active or passive, or you know, electronics for each, or even just active pickups and. Passive electronics or passive pickups and ele electronic, <laughs> active electronics. So these are all options? They are. So you, if you look on our site, there's hundreds of bases there, but they're, you know, one for everyone and, and your sort of, you know, different tastes. So we're going to try and get in a few um, of each to show you. So you've got a nice broad uh, range to look through when you come in store. Nice um, one. But, uh, but yeah, if we start going through what you've got here, man. So that is, um, so the, uh, the Corvette, oh no, it's the Corvette, that is the streamer. Um, streamer five string with the two sort of J style MEC pickups. Um, this has got two band EQ, lovely high mass bridge, uh, bolt on construction. This is active, obviously. This one that is active, yeah. Um, but um, and you'd say you're looking at a, a, the, the streamer style bass, which um, has got that slightly more curved horn to it here, right. um, and the point sort of the smaller pointy horn here. If you see that's very similar on this on the with the Corvette, but this is slightly yeah, slightly that's different that's shape. a bit more like I remember Warwick with that uh, the thinner sort of top thing on there. But yeah, uh, that's okay. It. And there will be obviously there's uh, another classic style of of Warwick bass, which is the thumb, uh, which is a li little bit shorter on this this ah, heel. Ah, yeah. So it's a little bit more of a sort of smaller horn here. We haven't had any of those through yet. That's the only reason we haven't got any today. Okay. But but they do those in this range. Do they? Uh, yes, yeah. I think there's. Um, they are slightly to, towards the higher end of uh, of these, right. um, but uh, but you're still looking around nine hundred pounds. Okay. Um, so another interesting thing I noticed because I just got this one out of the box, and with all these bases, you get uh, strap locks uh, included. That's a nice touch. It's a nice touch, yeah. A little uh, pop that in there, and that uh, you fix this to your strap, and it makes it impossible for the strap to fall off. So mid gig, you won't get any embarrassing sort of bang. <laughs> yeah. Which I've had before, you don't want that. So that's yeah. a nice touch. Also, uh, if you want to adjust the neck, this is obviously these have truss rods in, like all guitars do. Um, it's, it's got a nice little feature up at the top, uh, whereby you can actually, you don't have to take all the screws out, you can just pop this little uh, flap open here. Let's flip it up and easy access. Flip it open, easy access, he said, making, a complete, making it look not easy at all. You have to get one string out of the way. And so also with it, you get this. A nice extravagant Allen key. What's this? <laughs> was it that way around? Question mark, it's like a question mark. Doesn't What's it? What's this? Exactly. And uh, <laughs> there you go, there's your Allen key you get with it. Shove that in there. Very easy to adjust. Yep. And when you're happy with that, pop that back in. Jobs are good. Ready to go. Much less screwdriver time, we like that. So the nice innovations. We've got uh, adjustable nuts. That's a really nice feature. Yeah, it's uh, it's the um, yeah just. I mean adjustable, adjustable height. Three. Yeah, so you, there's two Allen key, uh, two, yeah, two Allen key points here okay. where you can just raise or raise or lower the the, the height of the nut, um, making it easier to to set up, especially if there's um, yeah different you're changing string tension or anything like that. You're gonna have to adjust that possibly. So um, yeah, great feature instead of having to knock the nut out and recut and put a new put a new nut in, you can just. Yeah, hopefully just adjust that to, to your needs. Cool, very nice feel on this neck too, very satin sort of... Uh... They are, yeah, they are. It's three-piece maple neck, yeah. Um, but yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous finish to it. Really, really easy to play. 
Um, personally, I've, I've, oh, I've never owned, owned a Warwick. I've, I've played a few over the, over the years and my experience has always been really positive with, with their, their gear, always, always set up lovely, always got a lovely, lovely, um, lovely, lovely feel to the necks. But these say really impressive um, when they are, say the, the, the Chinese built, sort of more affordable, affordable range. Cool. Um, so yeah, really impressed. So this one in particular here, you've got a, an older bodied uh, base there, Nathan. Okay. Uh, with the maple neck, rosewood board. Uh, this is an ash body on this particular model. Right. Um, but lovely, so again, satin satin finish. This is Nirvana black, they call this. Nirvana black transparent. So you can see the grain in quite nice detail come through, especially with ash when it's like a, a nicer, thicker, thicker grain. Are there lots of different finishes available with these? Or? There are, there are. We've, we've chosen um, some of the classic um, sort of finishes to, to to get us started, so a lot of the naturals, natural satins, natural gloss finishes, black high gloss uh, versions like this, yep. and the satin versions. But you can get um, a lot of sunburst finishes. There's some really nice new colours that are coming out, like racing car yellow, like these the real bright yellows with the black racing stripes. I think we're waiting for those to come through. Great. Um, so yeah, lots to choose from. Lots to choose from. Okay. But I thought we'd just get in and show you the first ones that. First ones that arrive. Yeah, well, it sounds like we're going to look at those in more detail when they arrive. Absolutely, yeah. It's um, but it's good to see them back. We used to deal with, deal with them, we say, a few years back, but it, it's it's they're sitting really nice with the range that we've got, especially against some other similar brands, shall we say, like like Spectre. Remember, just touch touch on that similar looking looking bases mm. with their Korean uh, range, the Spectre range, looking at similar sort of prices across, but. When we do some comparisons, I think in a later date, where we all really sort of like like their fretlesses of a very, very same uh, similar price point, so we should definitely do a comparison there. Um, and if I could just mention, I don't want to piss anyone off, just excuse my language, but there's um, a little bit of a, a debate over the curved body. Um, between, oh, what you mean? Who who came up with it first? Yes, back in the late seventies. Yes, which so you speak to. Speak to Spectre and it was them, and they speak to White, and they, they think they claim that it was them. Um, but on Spectre's history, I, I was told between Ned Steinberger and uh, Stuart Spectre, they came up with the first curved body. But again, I don't want to annoy anyone. But um, controversial. There's a, there's a bit of a controversy. Well, I between think Warwick that. invented it. So there. <laughs> That's it. How about that? But this um, this particular, I'd say, what they I, call the. Um, I've got nothing to base that on, by the way. <laughs> I just thought I'd take up a contrary position. Yes. No. Thanks, bro. Well, for, this, for balance. <clears throat> absolutely. Absolutely. It's where you, you look at something like this, which is their streamer, the streamer body type, is very similar to the NS1 or the the Euro 4 LX right. uh, Spectre shape. So um, and with say the curved curved body, which we've if you looked up previous videos we've, we've touched on before as well so um, but we got we've got both we've got them all so you know take come and take your pick make your mind up that's what um, you need to do come to Anderson's and check out the enormous range absolutely available the room's getting fuller and fuller <coughs> it's great it's great all right, so obviously we're going to look at these in more detail uh, at a later date because, like I say, the, the range is enormous and there's so many options. Um, yeah. So it would take us forever now, and we haven't got forever, quite frankly. <laughs> and uh, so what we're going to do is just going to have a play of each of these ones, uh, you know, and you can you can see what you think. Mm -hmm. um, and say so just comment in, in, below if you want any particular comparisons between what we've got in now, because I say there are some um, similar priced, uh, similar spec and priced. Um, options that we've got in, like say, the Spectre range and some other. Okay, so, so, oh, some other brand shootouts, possibly. That's yeah, it. Yeah. So, if there's anything in particular the guys want to see, just let us know. And we'll we'll, uh, we'll get on that next time. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we'll have a run through now, just to give you a quick quick heads up of what these what these sound like. Um, but yeah, I think we should we should end it there. Nice so, yeah. Get... Oh man. While he's doing that, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, this has been all about the base. Uh, if you've enjoyed it, subscribe. You can click on the link down here. Does that work? I've never done that. It doesn't work, yeah. doesn't work on your phone, yeah. does it? No, it doesn't work. Anyway, I'm Nathan. <laughs> and I'm Lee. Thank you very much. See you next time. See Bye. you soon. Bye. Bye.